makers of ChatGPT have announced a highly anticipated search engine powered by artificial intelligence. OpenAI is launching Search GPT, which gives uh, users real-time information from across the internet. So Kylie Robinson is joining us now to break it down for us. She is a senior AI reporter with The Verge. So I guess the first question is, what is Search GPT? How is it different from ChatGPT and the other things that OpenAI offers? Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. So Search GPT is an AI powered search, much like how you would use Google, but instead of a list of links, you're going to get a summarization in response to your query. So it takes more compute, it costs more than a regular search you'd have on Google. Um, it's going to be a prototype for now released to 10,000 test users. And it's going to be separate from ChatGPT, but they're hoping to integrate it into ChatGPT after some testing. So, you know, Google and probably other search engines, too, I think, have started to kind of use artificial intelligence already in this kind of way. Um, you know, increasingly, our search engines have become answer engines, where if you put something in, you usually get a blurb right at the top that answers your question yeah. directly. So how is this different than what, say, Google's already offering? Is this better? Better, it's still so new. Uh, both Google and OpenAI have to work out a hallucination problem, which is when you ask a question and it gives you a completely incorrect answer because the AI can't understand uh, just like a human could. That's something they're still working on. So um, both companies have to figure out how they're going to fix that. Google AI overviews, when they launched to millions of users, they had issues with hallucinations, like if you've seen in the news, um, one search told users to put glue on their pizza to get the mm -hmm. cheese to stick. Mm -hmm. So there's some issues that both need to work out. And that's why OpenAI is releasing as a prototype is what I think that it's easier to test rather than releasing to millions of users. Um, you know, some of the sort of dangers of this kind of being spoon fed the answer right away is as users, we don't always know what the source is. And, uh, you know, if you don't have to look any further than whatever the first paragraph says, you might not. It, it, does ChatGPT address that to ensure that the sources are accurate and the most recent information? Yes. So it seems like to me that OpenAI took a huge lesson from Google's AI overviews rollout. And then there's also a smaller competitor called Perplexity, which is also AI powered search, a small startup. So uh, they link throughout, they show attributions. There's also going to be a column on the side, which explains where all these sources are, along with a summary of those answers. But that doesn't exactly mean that it's accurate. It's still at this time, as they work out this technology, I believe really important to look at the attribution, which almost feels like a waste of time. You're mm. hoping to get that paragraph, that answer immediately. But right now, the technology is not in a perfect place to be 100% correct. So you still have to check those attributions, which they do provide. Okay, so it's just being rolled out just to a select 10,000 right now, but eventually the rest of us will get our hands on it. Sounds interesting. Kylie Robinson, thank you very much.